Okay, I've rehung my third square, and I've cast on the edge stitches, and I've knitted a row. So I've got two rows knitted, the cast on plus one row. And I've maneuvered my work, so the fourth square is kind of sticking up and out. Now what I'm going to be doing is, I'm, as I said, I've knitted two rows. I'm going to take this this the first stitch. I'm going to take it from the wrong side once I find it. And I'm going to rehang it onto the first stitch is always the hardest at times. Sometimes it's just easier just to go in from the front. I think that is my stitch. There it is. First, like I said, first stitch is now. If I went in here, I'd be catching the white, and I do not want the white. I want the piece that the white is catching. Let's see how close can I get on there. go. Can you see that? Okay. That's what I want to hang on that stitch. Now, when I knit that row, I'm going to be holding the work down. So, I'm going to do 12 rows of the blue. This is my striped one. And I'm going to knit that one very carefully. I've got my finger. It's because it's got the extra yarn on it. So just manually knit that. Be a little bit of tough. And then come back. And my stripe pattern is 12 rows of blue, 6 of pink. Now you want the second. Sometimes it helps if you give it a little bit of a tug. You want the second stitch. Once you get past the corner, and you get more up into here, you see this is the stitch you want to grab. So that's the one you want to grab. So that's the one you want to grab. That's why it's important to do the first row a little loose. Okay. I'm just taking the yarn out a little bit so I can see where I'm grabbing. Because it, it looks like I got it real tight there. That's what I want. Okay, I stitched that one. There it is. Make sure that last stitch stitches. So that will stitch on the way back. See? So we have one, two, three, four, six stitches. 
once we set your will come if you have one before you start this. And then you go for the next one, and you may find it easy just to just take it apart as you go. Because then you'll be able to see the stitch easier. And there's the stitch. You know, once you get going, you'll be able to see this. See, now you can see the stitch easier. Okay, and get two rows. <coughs> Watch that stitch because it does like to not stitch. That's eight. Yeah, it does. It does make it easy to find now. And stitch two rows. Two more sets, and I'm going to change colors. And my pattern is Got a drop stitch over here. Right here. All I'm going to do is come in from the top, grab a good stitch. 